Whoa, guys, I found some of the most ridiculous apps to ever exist. And we're gonna see just how absurd some of these apps, which are real, can actually get. Cause we're gonna go from the least ridiculous to the absolute worst. To start off the ridiculous list is an app you should not try at home because you could break your phone. So the app is called Send Me to Heaven. As soon as you click game, there is this fat disclaimer because basically what you do is just throw your phone as high as you can. So I guess um, now I just throw my phone. Ooh, that's a bit stressful. 0.39. Come on, you can throw it higher. Let's do it over the couch because I don't want to break my phone. Oh! <laughs> Anyways, once you see your score, you can share it. And there are even leaderboards. This person apparently threw their phone 44 meters high. Like, how on earth? Then you will not believe this app exists. It is a Windows 98 simulator. The crazy thing is everything works exactly the same as it would have back in the day. Like, I'm not kidding. You can even play Minesweeper, Solitaire, or Spider Solitaire. I don't know about you guys, but I used to be boss at paint. This was my PlayStation. As you can see, the programs and everything are pretty much identical. There's even Windows Media Player. This is super nostalgic and super ridiculous that it even exists, but not as ridiculous as this next app. Now, this next crazy app is all about taking a tinkle at the right time. Okay, so get this. How it works is if you're at the cinema watching a brand new movie, like Doctor Strange, for example, when you click on that movie, at the bottom it shows you the best times to go wee wee, so you don't miss the best parts of the movie. But what is even weirder is this next app called Poop Map. And so apparently with this app, you can track exactly where you use the bathroom um, and drop a log in two different ways, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you can also see exactly where a bunch of other people have also logged out. This is freaking mad. But if you thought those were weird, just you wait. <laughs> Oh my goodness, now this app, Paper Racing, was made to test just how fast you can swipe your fingers across your phone. So you just try your hardest to run through the paper toilet roll. I'm not gonna lie guys, I get oddly competitive with this one. My best score is 652, so try beat that. And if for some reason you get bored of the plain old two-ply, you can decorate it with patterns and still score points. whoop de do Do? So, I don't know about you guys, but thinking up jokes on the spot can be a bit difficult, so of course, there's an app for that. It's called Dad Jokes, and just with that app, you have an entire library of dad jokes. Like, here's one for example. Did you hear about the guy whose whole left side was cut off? He's all right now. <laughs> I am not making this stuff up. There is even this app called Funny Insults, which is packed with a ton of different insults. And let me tell you, they are super insulting. Now, this app became popular because of Big Bang Theory. Do I need to even say more? Yep, it is a whip app. But not just any whip app. You can get multiple different whip sounds. So whether you like a slappy whip or punchy whip, it's probably there. Okay, now there are a lot of apps out there that use AR that are actually really beneficial to society. But then there's this app. It's called Paper Bin AR and the app is exactly as you'd imagine it to be, a paper bin in augmented reality. You just need to place the bin down wherever you want. There's a hard, medium and easy level. And now you just got a dunk of those paper balls. <laughs> you can play it in your lounge, you can play it at your desk, you can play it pretty much anywhere. And it's actually kind of addictive. But uh, let's step up the ridiculous level. Now, this next ridiculous app turned your phone into a metal detector. Why? Why do we need to detect metal with our phones? 
The app is literally called Metal Detector, but the crazy thing about it is it actually works. It apparently uses your phone's compass sensor, so it picks up the electromagnetic fields of different metals. It has this huge big indicator on the front, so as soon as you get close to a metal, it shoots off the radar and starts making a sound. It's kind of crazy that any phone can turn into a metal detector, which is whack, but when I tried it out, I was lucky enough that my metal detector found my beans. Now, if you are ever stranded and the only thing you have is your phone, well then this app is completely useless. It's called Virtual Lighter and that is exactly what this app is. Just like a traditional working Zippo lighter, you can flip it open or closed and light the flame. I guess at least you'd never run out of lighter fluid. But what is even more ridiculous, believe it or not, is this app that just simulates a cigarette burning. For some reason, this app exists. I don't even know why, but I even have worse apps to show you. <sighs> Somehow, this app called Shake Me has been downloaded over one million times. One million times. And that's it. You just shake it and it plays Batman. But people love it. I mean, just look at some of these reviews. That's what matters most, right guys? I'm pretty sure by now you thought these apps couldn't get any worse. Oh, but it does. This is a pocket fan simulator, which not only has four different speeds, but it also has an off button. And guess what? It does absolutely nothing. Nothing. Ridiculous. So this app is called Hold the Button and it's probably the one app that I've used for the longest and for one reason only because as soon as you hold down the button you get this countdown timer and then you just hold the button. I think the point is to see how long you can hold the button for because you even get these little distractions. But wait, there's more. With this useless button, you just click it. That's all you do, you just click it. No hidden features, no nothing. Just good old clicking. What do you, what do you guys do for a living? <laughs> okay, now this app completely changes the way we perceive math. It's called Useless Calculator, and I promise you now, it is like no calculator you have ever used. If you pay attention and take a close look, not only does the number pad change every time you try to calculate something, but every single time, the answers are completely random. Like, not even close. And that is all it does. Super useful for finances, and also kind of funny to use on your friends. Okay, now we're in crazy town, so I'm gonna show you three big ones and then the craziest, most ridiculous app of them all. So this app is called Nothing, and in case you were wondering, or if its name didn't give it away, there is nothing to this app. Someone, somewhere out there, developed this app to do one thing and one thing only, and that thing is nothing. If that wasn't mind-boggling enough, you also get this app called Useless. But somehow, it has been downloaded over 100,000 times. The best part is this caption, it is hilarious, but they've even got a Google ad at the bottom, so someone's making money. But finally, this app at least does something, and it tells you whether it is dark outside or not. Honestly, this is so ridiculous. Who on earth has the time to make these apps? <laughs> Now guys, are you ready <laughs> to see the most ridiculous app you have ever seen? Okay, get ready. You may want to brace yourself for this. Oh my goodness, this app is so nasty. Yuck. It's called Pluck, Pop, Squeeze. And as you saw, it is all about popping zits, squeezing blackheads, and plucking hairs. It is so extreme, but the strange thing about it, it is oddly satisfying. The pimples and blackheads even seem to get bigger the more levels you move up. And the hilarious part is you have to use two fingers to squeeze them. Oh man. <laughs> wow. 
I am, I am just lost for words. Let me know down in the comment section which you found the most ridiculous app of them all, or you can check out some of these mind-blowing apps. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!